I don't think it'll actually be a quick video, but this is a video of me seeing how many Disco Elysium characters I can name. I found this link on Reddit that's every portrait upscaled, so we're just going to go through every portrait and see if I can name every single character. And if I can't, I'm going to write them down and see which ones I missed. So this one, I believe, like, I know who she is. I don't know if they necessarily call her the cleaning lady, but she's, like, the cleaning lady in the apartments. I wish Imgur had a better way to switch to the next image. It doesn't. I tried so hard to figure out, like, you can't press the forward button. It just takes you to this stupid, this is Mango the kitten post. And I was like, I don't want to see Mango. Sorry. I want to see this little boy. Um, this is Mikhail Heidelstam, Trance von Heidelstam's son. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's Acela, one of the speed freaks. Wow, this is slow. Um, the skills, I think, are going to be the hardest because I feel like I don't know the skills very well. I know this one is interfacing because it's yellow, so it's Motorix, and it's like he's using a computer. This is one of Lillian's twins. The other one is slightly further down. This is Satellite Officer Jean-Héron Vicuma. Yep. I'm probably not going to say all these names right, but I do know how to say at least some of them. This is Joyce Messier, the Wild Pines representative. Jules Pitot, the communications officer at the 41st, obviously. Kim Kitsuragi, our bestie for the whole game. Glacier Amando, uh, the, the disco, this Oranje disco dancer. There we go. Um, ooh, I don't think I'm going to say his name right. Waul Cotonier. Um, this is him when he's not pretending to be a strike breaker anymore. Uh, this is Lena, the cryptozoologist. This is Easy Leo, who's on the on the dock. This is Lillian's other twin. This is it's one of the Hardy Boys. I think it's Alan, <laughs> but I don't or, or Elaine. I think I'm gonna write that one down on my phone as one that I'm not sure about. Yes, please do load 101 more images. <laughs> um, this is Alice Dimitri. At least I believe it's Dimitri. It's definitely Alice. She's the communications for the 57th precinct, where Kim is. This is Andre, speed freak. Come on. I'm trying to look, pick them all up so that you can see like how cool these portraits are, because I love them. Um, this is Plaisance's daughter. And for the life of me, I cannot remember her name, and it's killing me. And I'm going to say Anne, but I don't think that's right. Um, I should check that the audio for this isn't bad. Oh, let's check that really quick. And then we'll start annoyed because I was recording on my bed. And you know, when you're like on the phone or something or on FaceTime with someone and they're on their bed and you get like the really loud sounds of like their sheets rustling against the microphone. I was really scared that that was happening and I don't think it was, but I moved to my desk anyways, just in case. Um, this is authority. Right? Yeah. Because it's, um, it's Psyche. Yeah, because it's, because I, I think, um, intellect is, like, gray. I think all the intellect ones are gray. The Psyche ones are kind of bluish. Um, physique is red and Motorix is yellow. This is Measurehead's babe. You can see Measurehead behind her. Uh, do do. This is this is um, the hanged man, but with Harry's face like on top of it. When you try to look into the eyes of the hanged man and like talk to him, um, kind of ghoulish, honestly. It's very good drawing. Obviously, really good drawing. Really, I think I think the artist did a really good job. Really, no shit. Can't believe you. You think this is good? Crazy. This is Chester McLean. Um, who is one of the characters that the developers, um, they basically did like a tabletop gaming. I don't remember what system they used. I should, I should look it up. 
Um, but they did like a role playing as, and that was kind of the birth of Disco Elysium. And they played as uh, Mac and Torso, Chester McLean and Mac Torson. This is Chester McLean um, from the 41st. Oh, what's his rank? I think it's, I think he's a satellite officer. I think it's satellite officer Chester McLean. And then Sergeant Mac Torson. Cindy the Skull. Your eyes. Um, this is Composure. This is one of Motorik's. You can tell because I see it in a lot of fan art with Kim. And Kim gets associated a lot with Motorik's. This is like, is this? Oh my God, is this? No, I don't think it is. Is this? Oh God. Is this one of the skills or is this one of like limbic system or like the ancient reptilian brain? Mm. No, because encyclopedia is in front of a book, so it's not encyclopedia. Is it conceptualization? I would be kind of embarrassed if I don't recognize conceptualization because I did pick that as my primary skill in my first playthrough because I was stupid and I didn't know what skills would be useful. Can you imagine picking conceptualization as your primary skill? I had like a seven in that. Do you know what skill checks conceptualization is useful for? Becoming racist, okay? If you want to listen to Measureheads hold speech and become racist, that's a conceptualization check. It was listed as easy for me because my conceptualization was so good. And despite the fact that I had like a seven, I failed Tommy Lahom's poetry thing. I was so mad. I was so mad. I failed that check. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I couldn't come up with a stupid poem. Um, but then I, my game crashed and I lost all of that progress. And when I did it again, I passed it. So really it was all worth it. Um, and it actually made me feel a lot better because then I could um, get more information about Ruby without like having to be really mean to Tommy because I felt so bad. Um, this is... Oh dear. Oh, this is the cook. This is the cook in uh, the Whirling and Rags. You don't really talk to him much because I don't think he speaks the same language as you. Which is Surinese, I think, in universe. This is uh, Gary the crypto fascist. Um, you can tell he's got that fun little crown, the little fascist thing behind him. Um, what a rat. This is like one of the only Disco Elysium characters. I feel like I could see anyone with almost any icon that's like a Disco Elysium portrait and I'd be like, that's fine. Like, I would get people sort of casually standing almost any character except for, like, this guy and the racist lorry driver that I'd be like, really? This is the one that you identify with? Like, for real? Come on. Like, there are so many. Identify with Kuno. This is Kuno. Kuno de Ruita. De Ruita? I know it's spelled like that. I don't know if I'm saying it right. De Ruita? Maybe? Um, it's fucking, it's fucking Kuno. It's Kuno. Kuno doesn't give a fuck. Uh, Kuno S, who I don't think we know her last name, but Kuno S. Um, this is Kuno's dad. I don't remember if we know his first name. Obviously it's still Deruta, but I don't know if we know his last name. I actually don't think I've encountered Kuno's dad in any of my playthroughs, but I do know that that's him. Um, this, oh, I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Um, it's the, it's, it's one of the mercenaries, one of the Crenell mercenaries, but I don't remember her name. Because it's Raoul Coutenier, and then the, like, really, the, like, super, well, I mean, they're all kind of, I think they all kind of have Dutch names. But one of them is, like, really Dutch. <laughs> Like, really Dutch. Um, okay, this is the deserter who is... Oh, God, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, no. I'm so mad that I don't remember his name. <gasps> Come on. Because he has an actual name. They call him the deserter, but... Uh, isn't it something kind of Russian? Oh, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to write down the deserter, you 
you idiot on my phone so that I can check this afterwards and get mad. Idiot. Oh my god, maybe it'll come back to me. Uh, this is the dice maker that you encounter in the doomed commercial area. She's great. I did not buy any dice. I just walked over there and was like, oh my god. Um, this is, oh, I don't remember what his name is, but he's mm. like the guy in the, the church, in the rafters of the church that talks to you, whose mask, I believe. I believe he's a mask. Call him a mask banger. Um, yeah. Um, this is Dolores Day slash maybe Dora England, potentially, um, because those figures are kind of merged in Harry's mind, and, you know, and, and these portraits are, to some extent, like, these are Harry's perceptions of these people, so we're not sure how much he's kind of blending their images together. Uh, we just know that Jean says she was super hot, kind of like a Welkin, which is like a, the fancy Elysium version of an elf. There's the idiot Doom Spiral, who's the guy, the like drunk guy we meet who got locked out of his house and just was like, I guess I'll give up on life. Um, it's more complicated than that, obviously, but that's how it starts. Uh, okay, this is, um, is this Empathy? It's one of the psyche ones, which are empathy, espiritico, which this is not espiritico, espiriticos. Um, oh my god, what are the other um, psyche ones? Inland Empire, which this is not Inland Empire. Volition? I don't think this is Volition. No, I know what Volition looks like. This isn't Volition. Um, and there's Empathy. What's the fifth one? Hmm. Empathy. Oh, wait. Authority. Which, th which this isn't Authority. Okay, I think this is Empathy. Unless it's, like, limbic system. Unless it's one of the weird ones. <sighs> Maybe it's limbic system. I think it's empathy. I think it's empathy. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write down empathy. And be like, ooh, maybe. Um, this is Egghead. Um, I did look up a walkthrough to do the Egghead thing. Because I was like, oh my god, I'm stupid. I'm not going to get this right. No, wait. Wait, who is that then? Oh, are these just two different views of Egghead? I think maybe it's just Egghead in two places. Because cause this is Egghead, for sure. Is this not Egghead? Who is this? What? I'm going to write down Egghead question mark? Or Egghead lookalike? Be like, am I crazy? Is that not Egghead? Um, this is electrochemistry. Know that one for sure. Oh, this one is, well, this is the kind of grayish purple, so I think this is an intellect one, maybe. Or is this empathy? Oh, this one looks like it might be empathy. Oh my god, I'm so bad with the skills. I'm just going to write down any, all the skills. Look up all of them, because I don't think I'm getting the skills right for a lot of these. <laughs> maybe this is empathy. Uh, okay, this one's Encyclopedia. I know that. Um, is this physical instrument? It's a little hard to see. I'm up my brightness a little. Okay, I'm going to guess physical instrument because it just kind of looks like muscles. Okay, I think this one is Espiritico. Maybe, but I could be wrong. Oh my god, who is this? <laughs> Wait. I have never seen this person. No, 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 no. No, no, this is one of the Hardy Boys. This is one of the Hardy Boys. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, I don't know if I remember his name, though. Because there's Elaine. And there's Greg. And those are the only two. And, well, 
uh, there's one that's like fat something, fat Angus. And this is not any of them. So I don't remember his name. Uh, okay, this is Everart. Everart. I love doing the Everart clear voice. I do it. Oh, all right. Oh, that wasn't very good. I can do a better Everart than that. If I'm like saying something kind of wormy, I'll, I just shift into the Everart voice. Listen to me, Harry. We can find your gun. I am not doing a good Everett voice. I swear I can do better than that on a good day, but this is just not. Okay, this is Fat Angus. Um, this, I think is, it's either piss, 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 that's a slur, or it's fuck the world. But I don't remember which one is which because I did not actually encounter them in my game. But I believe that's who they are. This is the clerk at Freet. Freet? This is the other one who's either fuck the world or piss something. Piss slur. Um, don't remember which one. This is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Beaufort. Um, uh, one of the Hardy Boys. Hardy, hardy gal. I love her. Um, this is Gart, the Whirling and Rags manager. This is. Um, Oh my god, why is his name escaping me? Gaston. Gaston. Um, yeah. Gaston. Yep, just Gaston. I can't remember her last name. Gaston Martin. Martin. Because it's like the car. Aston Martin. Um, this is... Um, it's the gay one. This one is gay. I'm <laughs> sorry, that sounds insane without context. One of the Hardy Boys is gay, and I'm pretty sure it's this one. Is this Elaine? Maybe this one is Elaine. Hardy Boy. I'm, I'm also going to write down all the Hardy Boys, because I feel like I'm not remembering their names. Um, but he's definitely one of them. Um, okay. I don't think this is... Okay, what are the other physical skills? So there's... Pain threshold, physical instrument, pain threshold, physical instrument, electrochemistry, um, oh, I forgot about staff welfare, that's in Motorex, um, oh my god, I don't think I did a lot of physical checks because I do think I made physique my lowest thing so I think I just avoided most checks <laughs> um oh no okay this one looks like it might be pain threshold though so that's what I'm gonna go with okay this is the actual hanged man um I don't remember what his first name is it's also Cretenier because he and the other Cretenier are adopted brothers but I don't remember what his first name is um this is hand-eye coordination this is inland empire this is mega rich light bending guy that you can find I did not find him in my playthrough because I accidentally like speed ran the game and did it in way too few days which is why I'm redoing it because I like did not finish half the quests like anything in the side because I did not know I, I didn't know that, like, finding Ruby, that if you, like, actually go underneath the, um, the building and talk to Ruby, you, like, kickstart everything, that you, like, start the tribunal and stuff. So I, like, I, I, I really messed up, and I missed a lot of things um, that I want to go back and, and do in my next one. So I never even got to the point that you can get to the light bending guy, because I think he only shows up after the, like, third day or something. And I think I finished the game on, like, day two or three. I, I did it way too fast. This is... Oh no, she looks very familiar. Is that little Lillian, maybe? She looks kind of older than little Lillian, though. I don't, but that's not what adult Lillian looks like. Is it? 
because there's little Lillian. Okay, I'm gonna go with little Lillian for now. This is, okay, it's one of the psyche ones, or not the psyche, intellect. Encyclopedia, um, visual calculus, Uh, conceptualization. Uh, I like saw a comic that used this one and I'm trying to remember what the name of it was and I simply can't. I simply cannot do it. Um, is it logic? Actually, maybe this one is just logic. I think this might be logic. <laughs> this is, um, it's, it's shown again. Um, but it's him in the, it's, it's technically, it's man with sunglasses, which is, uh, Jean-Ron Vicomar, um, dressed as Guillaume Bivy, uh, the police journalist who left the major crimes unit because he was not confident in Harry's leadership. This is Kami Manana. Uh, who, oh, this is the man with salami. I was like, what the? He's got the salami. He's got it right there. He gives you a bite of his salami. This is Measurehead. Great song, by the way. I love the Measurehead one on the soundtrack. Your body betrays your degeneracy. This is um, Patrol Officer Judith Minot. Love her. This is Morel, Lena's husband, the cryptozoologist. Now... What's going on here? Because I feel like I don't remember this. It's like I do, but I don't. Girl, no answer. What in the world? Scary. Um, this, okay, this is Lillian. This is adult Lillian. So maybe that was little Lillian. Um, this is Nix Gottlieb, the Lazarus, the station Lazarus at the 41st. Um, this is, oh, what's your name? He's the other speed freak. He's not Andre, not Andre, not Egghead, not Acela. Doesn't he have a weirder name? Oh no, is it like Skull or something? Uh, uh, I don't remember, I'm writing speed freak. Speed freak. I don't remember. This, oh no, I think this is pain threshold actually. I think, I think that's pain threshold. So I don't know what that other one was. This is the pale driver on the, she's the, the lorry driver who goes through the pale. So she's like kind of not all the way there in the head. This is, this is one of Motorik's. Is this one fair? Okay, because the Motorik's ones are hand-eye coordination, interfacing, several fair, We, this isn't interfacing or hand-eye coordination because we already passed those. What are you gonna have more Rex? Um, we're gonna go with this is Savoir Fair because I can't remember what the other ones are. This is the Insulindian Phasmid. Um, I think this this is which this is endurance. There we go. That's one of the other physical ones. This is endurance. Um, this is the pigs. Um, who I want to meet in the next run so that I can get my gun back because I didn't have a gun the first time I played and I like got to the tribunal and then panicked and was like oh my god I didn't know this was going to trigger the tribunal oh no and like quickly looked up a walkthrough that was like what do I do um, and they were like well the first thing to do is make sure you have everything you need to go into the tribunal and let me tell you I had zero percent of the things I needed they were like make sure you have a gun and try to get all the armor you can. Babes, I had zero armor and I did not have my gun. So, not great. It was not great. Um, oopsies. Maybe Jean would get a little bit, I think Jean gets less mad at you if you have your gun also. Uh, this is Playsons, the owner of the bookstore. This is the racist lorry driver. This is, this is another, one of the Motorix ones. Oh no, why can't I remember them? Motorix. 
Hey, it's got faces. It's got faces. Oh no. I don't know what this is. Okay. Mm. I just wrote down Motorix. Oh, this is the this is the realtor in that apartment that if you like break down the door, she's back there. This is um Oh my god, come on. You literally wrote about him in a in a paper. René Arnaud. René Arnaud. Um this is the um oh, I don't remember what it's called, but this is when you are using the like computer terminals and you have to like relay passwords. This is the woman that you're like relaying them to. This is something. Um is this is not volition. Who are you? Hmm. Oh dear. This is another one that I know I've seen in comics and it's embarrassing me that I don't remember what the name of it is. Um, no, I'm so stupid. I need to pay more attention to the skills. Who are you? What in the world? I straight up have no idea who that is. I do not know. I could not tell you. I don't think I've ever seen that man in my life. Okay, this is the pawn shop owner. Um, I don't remember his name. This is Ruby, Ruby the instigator. This is the the one with the super Dutch name, um, who's the other Crenell one that Kim is able to shoot. Um, this is... Actually, I feel like that's Savoir Faire. I think that is. This is Cortenier when he's pretending to be, Raul Cortenier when he's pretending to be a strike breaker. This, or is that the gay one? Wait, was I wrong? Is this one the gay one? This is, an, this is another one of the Hardy Boys. Oh no. Isn't this, didn't we already pass electrochemistry? I think this, wait. Maybe I misidentified the other one. I think this one is electrochemistry. Uh, this is Silang. The he, you can buy stuff from him. This is oh, it's um, it's one of the other drunk guys. I don't remember their names. One of them is like, like t don't tell Rosemary or something. Um, <gasps> this is the smoker on the balcony, gendarme. Hello, gendarme. Uh, Suna! I, one of my biggest regrets with my first thing is I, I didn't get to finish the little side quest with Suna. And I had made a, a good bit of progress. Um, and I really like Suna. So, I want to finish that the next time. This is the, uh, the Smoker on the Balcony's Sunday friend who works for the Moral Intern. This is... Is this, um... Oh, what is the, when it's like, when it's the city, that like the city speaks to you. Shivers? Is this Shivers? I don't think this is Shivers, but I don't remember what it is. <sighs> Guys, I'm so stupid. Uh, I really thought I was going to be better at this. I forgot about the skills, honestly. This is... The woman who worked at the Whirling in Rags, um, and then when you got drunk and screamed and broke everything, she quit because she was scared of you. Um, this is one of the other Hardy Boys, whose name I definitely don't remember. This is the guy in the church again. Are there repeats? This is Titus Hardy, of the titular Hardy Brothers, or Hardy Boys, not brothers. Tommy the home. Lorry driver. This is Mac Torson, 41st Sergeant Mac Torson. Uh, Tran Heidelstam. Tran Heidelstam. Yeah, there we go. Um, the, what is it, external consultant for the Major Crimes Unit. This is visual calculus, I think. I think, I think, I think. This is Volition. This is the washerwoman. That's the man with salami again. 
Okay, they, there are some repeats. This is the dead guy that you find on the, um, out on, oh my god, what is it called? <laughs> oh, the pier. This is the dead guy that you find out on the pier that, like, got drunk and fell through. And this is his wife, who you can talk to earlier at the bookstore, and she's just, like, browsing quietly and trying to mind her business. And then you have to be like, hi, I find your husband dead. This is Harry if you shave. This is Harry if you don't shave. This is Harry if you, I think, like, the first time you look in the mirror before you can, like, get a clear look at yourself. Um, I think, I don't, I don't remember what the options are between smiling and not smiling, but I know this is, like, the same as, yeah. If you're smiling versus not smiling. <gasps> There's, this is not all of them. This is not all of them. Wait. <gasps> No, I have to do a longer one because that's not all of them. Right? Who is it missing? Actually, wait, who, who would it be missing? Maybe that is all of them. Well, it doesn't have younger Harry. Um, I'm trying to actually come up with a character that I think is missing. And now I'm like, oh, actually, maybe that is all of them. Maybe I'm thinking of characters that don't actually have portraits. It just seemed like that was too soon. But I can't think of who else would have a portrait. Okay, I guess that was it. All right, now we can check. I can check our work. Okay, Abigail. Oh, they didn't have Abigail on there. Um, Elaine. Okay, so that was Elaine. <gasps> I said Anne, it was Annette. Um... Do, 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 um, DePaul, yeah. Oh, it didn't have the speed freaks. No, I was right. It didn't have everyone because it didn't have uh, Echo Maker or um, what's his name, the other communist. Um, yeah, it didn't have the two the the student communists. Um, okay, Eugene. These are both eggheads. I'm not crazy. Eugene. Yeah, fuck the world. Um, okay, that one's Glenn. Yes, Glenn is the gay one. Choice, choose. Kitsuragi. Yeah, this is if you beat it on, like, the hard mode, I think, or something. There's, like, there's something that you can get him wearing a different jacket. Um, librarian. I don't think I ever encountered the librarian. Okay, that is Little Lily. I'm right. I was correct. Mysterious eyes. I don't remember where that is. Noid! Okay, that makes sense. Noid. Yes. I was like, it was weird. It stuck out to me. Um, this technically is not Price's in-game portrait, so I get why that was not included. Because technically, I think this just shows up in like some promotional art, and they confirmed like outside of the game that they were like, yeah, that's Captain Price. Roy, oh, that's the Rosemary guy. Okay, that's, so he's one of the drunk ones. Okay. I fully was like, I've never seen that guy in my life. Oh, Shanky. Lude, yeah, it's like Lude and Kill or something. Um, Sleeping dog worker smoker on the balcony. Stiban, yeah, they didn't have Stiban. Theo. Oh yeah, these are the the fash ones. That if you if you turn back the clock and become a fascist. Wait, little Lily that PNG. Oh, did they update the portrait of little Lily then? Okay, this is they must have changed it, because this is the one that's in the game, now. Did they change it? Okay, yes. Okay, no wonder I didn't recognize her because I was like, I don't know who that is. Straight up. Literally do not know who that is. That is, okay, that makes so much more sense because I was like, that looks way older than the girl that I remember seeing. That's because it's not the final portrait. I'm not crazy. Did Tiaga have a different one too? That's not both, okay, no, I'm just stupid. I mean, that's fair. Plude, what's his name? Plude Hohenkloen. Yep, Hohenkloen. There's the guy. 
Okay. Oh, the skills. Okay. We got to look up skills. <laughs> I did really bad, I think. Um, okay. I did get that that one was logic, I think. I did get logic. I did get encyclopedia. I did get visual calculus. I think I did guess eventually that this one was conceptualization. I got volition. I got inland empathy. Empire. I did get empathy. I got authority. I got this one. I Oh, I did not get suggestion. I did not remember suggestion. Oh, I think I mixed a bunch of these up. Okay. I think I got this one right as electrochemistry. I missed this one. I thought this one was also electrochemistry. And I think I did identify that as pain threshold. I think I mixed these two up. Fully forgot half-life. I got hand-eye coordination, I got composure, I got interfacing, I got self warfare. Okay, perception and reaction speed. Did not remember those. Did they not do the limbic system? Maybe there isn't a portrait for, like, the limbic system. I thought there was. Unless, well, it's kind of just hairy, I guess. Hmm. Herm. Herm, herm. I guess I'm wrong. Also, what do they mean, voice actor? You don't talk. Yeah, shaved portrait. Yeah. Okay. So I did really bad with the. I did bad with the Hardy Boys. I did not remember the Hardy Boys. I did not remember. Um, girl. Why is it a page then? Uh, I did not remember the Hardy Boys. I did not remember the skills. <laughs> Indirectable characters. Dimitri. Okay, I did get that right. Sylvie was her name. Oh, that's a chef. Okay. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, I misidentified that guy. He. Oh, that's right. He's just the sleeping guy. Never mind. I think I. I thought he was one of the really drunk ones. Um, sorry, sir. I really threw him under the bus. I was like, that, that's one of those alcoholics. That's a man with a job. He's just sleeping. Yeah, I was thinking about don't call Abigail. And rosemary. Whoopsies. Um, I was, oh, did they change eggheads? Okay, that makes sense again, because I was like, why was there two? There was two eggheads. Yep, this is the one that I recognize, and I have the final cut, so that makes sense. And some of these are really stupid website. Who am I thinking of that I was like, why didn't they show up? Let me look at the uninteractable characters. Well, I wasn't thinking of any of these people, so I don't know why I was like, no, that can't be all the portraits. I guess there was just less than I thought there were. I don't know, but there was a lot. I don't know what I was thinking. Guys, what's wrong with me? Answer in the comments down below.